hey guys, I know loads of you are probably feeling really, really overwhelmed at this time of year, and I understand because I'm feeling really, really overwhelmed as well. So in this video, we're gonna talk a little bit about your mental health, we're gonna talk a little bit about my mental health, and what we can do to feel better. We are really, really close to the exam, so I know you could be feeling really overwhelmed with the amount of revision that you've got to do and the pressure you're feeling from all sides. I am feeling really, really overwhelmed at the moment because I have lots and lots of things going on. I'm like three quarters of the way through lots and lots of projects that I want to be able to get to you in time for your exams. And believe it or not, your teachers are probably feeling really, really overwhelmed as well because they've got a lot of marking and a lot of preparation to do. So this is basically a horrible time of year for everybody. So I said that I'm feeling a bit overwhelmed. I'm not feeling great at the moment. My mental health is not in a great place. I have so much stuff going on that I literally want to go to bed, hide under the covers and cry basically every single day and if someone says anything even slightly mean to me I will burst into hysterical tears and I don't mean those delicate girly things I mean proper proper hysterical blubbing um and that's really like panda eyes are going on a lot of the time at the moment and the reason for this the reason that I'm feeling like this is because I have lots of things going on I've got so many things I'm working on to get out for you and I'm sure some of you are feeling the same the other way that I respond to feeling overwhelmed is by not wanting to do any work, which is really, really counterproductive. I spent the entire weekend playing computer games. Yep, I got absolutely no work done. And then come Monday, or actually come Sunday evening, when I looked at my to-do list for the rest of the week, or you know, maybe you feel like this when you looked at your timetable for the rest of the week, I felt absolutely horrible that I hadn't done enough over the weekend, and then I started to cry again see a theme here can't you um and like that's how I'm feeling at the moment and I'm sure some of you can relate to this feeling of feeling so overwhelmed that you've got so much stuff to do that a you don't know how to start or you don't know where to start and then also that you can't actually just face doing it and you want to do basically any other thing apart from actually do what you're supposed to be doing so here are a few strategies that I am really working to implement that might help you and me get over this feeling of feeling overwhelmed now the first thing is allow yourself to have a break you do not have to work the entire time if you want to take a day off if you want to take a weekend off to play computer games which is what I did it is okay, you are allowed to take a break. You do not have to be constantly, constantly working. And if you try, if you take a break, really, really try not to beat yourself up afterwards. Don't feel guilty for taking a break. You are allowed to do this. However, we do actually have to do some work at some point. And I know the large, large amounts of work that needs to be done can sometimes feel really, really overwhelming. So break it up into small chunks. Say, I am going to do this on this day, and then don't think any further than that. Just accomplish that one task, or that two ta those two tasks on those days. Maybe say, I'm gonna do this in the morning, and I'm gonna do this in the afternoon. And then when you get to the end of that day, you can say, yep, I did that, yes, I did that. And you've done it, you've accomplished something, you've broken through this, this feeling of being so overwhelmed that you can't actually do anything and you've actually done something and then you can get this sense of accomplishment as well as actually having done some studying. Sometimes it helps to not look at the bigger picture. Now I know this may seem really really counterintuitive but if you sit down and look at all of the revision you've got to do in one big chunk sometimes that can feel suffocating it can feel like it's crushing you like all you want to do is go and hide under the duvet and cry or play computer games so you don't actually have to think about doing any revision um so just pick something and do it 
don't think about it too much just go to your bag pick out the first book you have and sit down and do 20 minutes of revision on that topic you know pick a book open it up to a page and do some revision now this isn't going to be the best strategy because it is a little bit of a scattergun approach and sometimes you might miss out topics sometimes you might revise the same topic two or three times if the page just naturally if the book naturally falls open on a page but it's better than doing nothing if you're at the point where you're feeling so so overwhelmed that you literally can't face doing anything then this might help you actually get started to make sure you do cover everything you can take a day and just make a list and then what you can do with that list is chop it up into small little parts get a jar my personal preference would be a beaker and then write everything you need to do on a slip of paper and put it in the jar and then you don't have to think about what revision you need to do because you can just pull a bit of paper out of the jar and then revise that whether it's going to be the number section for maths or whether it's going to be some grammar for spanish or some field work for geography then just pick it out and do it sometimes devolving responsibility to the jar of revision luck or whatever you want to call it can really really be helpful in taking the decision away you don't have to decide what to do anymore because all well, the jar is going to tell you what to do you can ask other people for help now i know that you know you're feeling really quite vulnerable at the moment that maybe you don't want to talk to people maybe you don't want to um ask for help but people at home you know your cousins maybe brothers and sisters growing up in the house can actually help you with revision i know they don't always seem like it but you can give them tasks to do say to them i'm feeling really really stressed i'm feeling really really overwhelmed i need a bit of help can you do this for me like can you make me some flashcards for spanish i mean they might say no but they might say yes and you say you know i don't have the time to do it i'm feeling really really overwhelmed however if you helped me make some flashcards that would really really help now your brother your older brother might turn around and tell you to go away maybe not that politely but he might have some flashcards lying around from when he did his GCSEs and then give them to you or you might say to grown-ups at home you know I really want to do some science practice papers um can you find them and print them off for me now they may get the wrong exam board they may get the wrong um the, the wrong paper they may not be able to do exactly what you want but they might be able to they might be able to help you like this so i know this is a horrible time of year um it is nearly over which i know doesn't necessarily make this any better but um if you are feeling overwhelmed if you are feeling like you want to cry all the time or hide or pretend that life isn't actually going on um you are not alone don't worry it's exactly how i'm feeling at the moment it's exactly how other people in your class are feeling at the moment it's exactly how some of your teachers are feeling at the moment it's just this time of year and we can all look forward to the summer holidays when we can sink our toes into the sand and um not revise i'm going to be here with you every single step of the way